Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolph back. Today we are gonna clear a couple misconceptions about the red in a new world at Eternum. I hate to to see people doing weird thing and they always have the good excuse to do it and they die doing it and we need to restart the red. So let's clear those stuff so the people start do, uh, stop doing it and now we can progress in the red because I beat the red more than 10 times and some people are stuck onto the first bus and cannot pass it and then I try to explain them why they cannot pass it well it's because you are doing things wrong my man so let's speak about the empower that you get when you get on the top of a pillar during the first boss fight you see there's some ranger that are like I'm on the top of the pillar, I'm doing so much damage right now. <laughs> okay, so there's an empower cap of 50% into New World. So if you're doing more damage by standing onto the pillar, that means you're not reaching your 50% empower cap without the pillar. So that means that your build is ass. And you know what that means? That you can go stand into Oblivion and probably get the same thing. Yep. So, this is one of the first part. And then the second part, listen to that. You're going to see this is very, very horrible. So, those same people who are going to tell you that they are going to do big DPS while standing on the pillar. They are not going to go off the pillar when the stamina of the boss is going to break and you need to hit the spine. So the boss is going to fall on the ground and then they are going to be there shooting from the pillar into the boss belly instead of repositioning and hitting the spine. And this is the phase where you're doing the most DPS and this is base DPS. This is not even empower. So even if you're empower cap, you are going to do big DPS on the back. So I'm going to show you guys a nice little example of a musket just staying on the top of the thing and doing the wrong thing and let's finish on one last thing this video is gonna be kind of quick compared to some of my other video but we need to clear up some misunderstanding about the red all right so another misunderstanding is you can have some healer in your group, two healer. You can complete the red with one healer. I did it as a tank, all right? You can tank this red with one healer, but you can do it with two healer and it's fine. I'm not judging you for having two healer, all right? But your second healer kind of need to use the void blade a lot, like he's there with the melee DPS on top of them and void blading the whole time. It's like... If you're not void blading, what are you doing? You're eating people that doesn't need heal? Alright, another misconception. You see, there's two abilities that are amazing for the void gauntlet. There's, you're gonna see there's two combo of ability. Let me explain. So first combo of ability gonna be... Rupture. Rupture is when you hit a target, you are leeching and gaining stamina. No, 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 no. I'm not going to explain. You can go read, right? Your healer is supposed to have Rupture, Nullify Oblivion, and Void Blade, all right? And then there's one boss with the adds phase where there's birds. If your DPS are ass and they are very, very bad and they don't have enough CC and nobody is using Vine properly, then then you can switch maybe the rupture for a scream just just to help your dps but i'm gonna let you know that if you have good dps rupture is gonna be way better than a scream because it's gonna help your dps survive and just keep hitting the mobs around all right so most of the healer if you see them with uh, no void blade they are doing it wrong they are supposed to have a void blade or they are throwing if they have flail they are throwing and it's not because i ate flail all right i'm just telling you what is working and what is not working you can hate the messenger but at the end you are the one doing the mistake all right so into the second boss if you die before the third phase you don't deserve any merit um you don't need to kill the spider. And if your tank is doing enough DPS, you can kill the spider, but it doesn't really matter. Like 
if all your DPS are good and standing into a sacred ground, they're not supposed to die into the adds phase. Because you know what? There's another thing about the Eater into this raid is you see the adds phase, the, ad, the, the phase where they're spawning some mobs around, right? The boss is like screaming and there's a, some mobs spawning into the second boss, right? When the healer is going to heal, all right? The healer is going to go close to the Corvid and he's going to heal people. So what's going to happen is the healer going to take the aggro because in New World and 99.9% .9 of MMORPG, <coughs> healer, <coughs> so <coughs> healing will take the aggro. So if you're standing with the DPS on the top of the Corvid and you put a sacred ground and all your heal on the floor and then you put Oblivion and your Void Blading with your Rupture, you're gonna do so much healing around this area that there's just no reason that a DPS die, there's no reason that you don't have the aggro, and there's no reason that the mobs don't clump on you, alright? So most of the time when you're gonna see those mobs not clumping, it's based on your healer, not even on your DPS. A lot of people is like, we are lacking DPS, we cannot be beat the ads phase. But you're going to see the, the healer who is healing the tank. He's, he just kept healing the, the tank during the ads phase and running around, bringing all the wolf and ads with him. And this is like the worst thing that can happen, all right? So this is why most of the group are feeling the second boss. And then the last boss. Oh my. The last boss is easy all right the last boss is so easy bro there's just no way you guys can die in the last boss all right i'm discouraged man i'm discouraged man all right people are dying into the last bus bro all right <laughs> first miscushion about the last bus the eggs we need to kill the eggs. I'm gonna get the most shitty build to be able to break the eggs. I, the eggs. I have a fire staff or, or a bow, and I'm gonna use a great sword with it to break the eggs. And then you see the dude with a great sword and a fire staff eating the eggs, and the eggs' life is coming back, bro. Or like the the dude with the decks. Like the dude have a bow and a great sword, and he have decks. Like, bro, the, the dude have all his points invested into decks. And he's using a great sword as a secondary. This is the worst thing you can have into a dungeon, all right? So, you're gonna take off that great sword and you're just not gonna kill the eggs, bro. You're gonna kill the adds uh, when they are gonna spawn off the eggs. And it's gonna be even easier like that. You know what? The adds are even easier to kill than the eggs. And you can kill them with any weapon. Instead of having two great swords that are just constantly running around and doing nothing, you're gonna have your, all your DPS being able to DPS not only the flower and the back of the bus, but the bus too. Instead of like just, I'm scared, I'm scared, eggs, eggs, help me, I need help on eggs. Uh, uh, I'm dead, nobody was here with me in the eggs. <sighs> all right, so. There's a something to first boss strike protection, second boss slash protection, third boss nature protection, and you can use uh, just melee protection. Like uh, on the two first boss, you're fine. You f you put all onyx, and then on the last boss, you switch like four or five nature gem, and the boss is gonna become so easy. Four or five natural gem, it's like 60 bucks each. If you're not buying that and you're constantly dying, it's your fault, bro. You can change your amulet or something like that, but right now I'm speaking to the noob who, are, who cannot complete it. So yeah, with your bow, you're gonna use a rapier because the great sword is ass. The great sword is good if you have a spear, if you have a hatchet with it, not a bow. What are you doing, dude? <sighs> Another misconception is that the the void gauntlet always gonna empower you. No, if you are empower cap, 
the void gauntlet is not gonna empower you because you're already capped bro so what are you doing with like a uh, fire staff and void gauntlet it just make no sense to me bro <sighs> so i think this is it for this part if you guys have some extra thing to say just say it into the comment section because i know i did not say everything and this video is far enough like that i said that it was going to be a short video but i just keep going <laughs> so yeah please into the comment section say what everything does wrong and what you're pissed about or whatever this is a place where you can just vent all right and you know what, maybe I'm going to do another video about this subject because there's so many people doing it wrong right now. And yeah, I must, I have a lot of video ready. Like I'm just wondering what I post first. And I think those tips right now are essential to the people because people are like ah, going to pillar and dying on the pillar nonstop. I, I'm so pissed to see that. And then when I try to explain to them, they don't want to listen. They think that uh, it's going to get empowered even if they are capped. And their build is just bad. And this is it, bro. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for watching this video and listening to my venting. Have a good day. Peace out. I mean, look back behind me. Uh, my, my dog destroyed uh, some toys and stuff. Uh, you know what? I'm going to show an example of those musket people. You're going to see how it makes no sense and how they are sure of what they do. You, you're going to see how it makes just no sense. Yeah, we have time, we have time, we have time, we have time. Now I'm off. Yeah, Crystal Crystals next, everyone on crystals. Beautiful. Everything's done. Nice. Good job. Watch out for jumps. He's gonna jump twice. Bro. I got him up. Oh, okay. You guys got it. Nice and easy, guys. It's not a DPS check. We just gotta stay alive. Your stand bar is going down. Everyone off pillars. He's gonna blow up the pillars. Should work on crystal. Work on crystals, okay? Stop yeah. hitting the boss. Work on crystals. The stand bar is pretty close to being down. Get on crystals. No one should be hitting the boss right now. There's one more crystal behind me. There's two there. Yeah, I got one. I got them all. They're, they're dead, they're dead. Stand bar going down, stand bar going down. Get ready to close in. I see up top, I'm doing a lot of damage with my rifle. You see the spine again fall on the one side. Whatever. Oh, it's fine, so it's not a big yeah, deal. It's it's just, uh, yeah. He jump in? Yeah. Pointers. It's gonna be on me, guys. Nice, this is it, this is it. What? Off pillars, everyone off pillars. Yeah. He's almost dead. This is over. We got him. Burn him, burn him, burn him, burn him, burn him. Burn him, burn him. Burn the fuck out of him. And that's nice. nice. Good job, guys. Oh, just come now, everybody. Woo! I didn't get shit from him. Where's the loot?